Hey guys, and in here I like uh, to show you how I'm tuning up recording azimuth. So uh, here I'm currently recording. I tested started from 400 gears and now it's 10 kilogears. And uh, there is two channels as you may see, so I'm moving it. Okay, uh, here I'm measuring outputs after a playback amplifier. Uh, right if like right on the uh volume port or like uh, playback level port on the one and on the second channel right there so and that's where how i may tune up the face so it's currently 10 kilogears i may adjust the face and it, you see it gets taller smaller so I'm getting to the topmost point and in face. Now face is adjusted. Okay, same with the height. So just look for the maximum position. Now I would be able like, to check uh, recording results. Rewind a little bit, play back. Level still a little bit lower. Here. Oh. I was moving azimuth, you see, I, but it's, it's much better now. Yeah. Pinch rolls are not new, so they will be used, they will get better. Okay, let me complete uh, adjustments. I'm still working. I had to replace two microchips, like these guys. From the logic board, uh, each of them like uh, mostly work, like uh, three out of four, or like five out of six uh, internal buffers like, did work, and one did not. So I'm not sure was it uh, like results of recapping, but I always disconnect power supply and always work on fully and discharge the deck. So. Whenever this happened, I had to replace these two microchips. Like everything did work except record. So the mute, like unmute didn't work. So when I record, it was like completely quiet. So that's where like I was looking. And here I was measuring these two ports. Uh, let me get some. So I was measuring right here on this point and here to get the proper azimuth. And with logic board, it was quite interesting. Like uh, this one element here didn't work. So despite the voltage was changing on the input pin and it should just invert, there was nothing on the output pin. And one more thing, let me remember. I believe it was 404. Yeah, and this element didn't work for some reason after recapping. Okay, now I have replaced, I guess, this full box of different chips. I can use them as needed. Uh, that's, I'm continuing to use this deck. Good news, our uh, source circuitry can now work properly. Like when I just started, before I like, reassembled as this uh, long record playback switch. Uh, it was like a significant distortion on the output. So the high frequency I get or high levels I get, there was like a pretty weird distortion. Now it's, everything has been fixed. I don't know if it's a capacitor charge it or whenever. This part is gone. Now it's fully linear on the source playback now i have to adjust to make sure it will um, be fully linear on the playback side and recording and then i will adjust after azimuth and outer levels so let's see still working on it's been like four or five days now maybe six since i started to work on this deck if like i, I don't count like empty days when i do nothing because I was waiting for the parts. But uh, that's how much it takes to restore a good deck. So 
I thought I want to show you something more quite interesting. I'm not sure. Okay, I will see you in the next part. Bye bye. And I just remembered it. I wanted to show you how this switch works. Uh, you see, it has a spring installed which holds the wire right there. Let me zoom in. You see, it holds it right there. And uh, like uh, this cable, wire would not move. It's uh, external part will move and pull the switch. Let me show you. Okay, I'm turning on record mode. You see how it moves. And this cable is wired to the main gyro. And that's where how it pulls. Like from here, from tape transfer, there goes wire and it pulls and moves the switch back and forth. So that's how it works. We'll see. See you in the next part.